Today I'm going to talk about a wheel building tool called the Twist Resist. The purpose of the tool is to help uh, avoid uh, spoke wind up or twist as you tighten the nipples. So the way it works is you grasp the spoke with the tool like so and then when you tighten the nipple it keeps the spoke from turning. Um, this one has had a lot of use. I've had it for a number of years and I don't know if you can uh, get that focused in there. It's uh, It's got a lot of wear there. It's got to the point now where on a thin spoke like anything uh, less than a than a 2.0 like a 1.8 or a 1.7 spoke it actually uh, it actually doesn't even grip it anymore it's, it's worn that bad. So what I'm going to do is uh, make a new one. Okay, so it just so happens that the Twist Resist tool is just a modified Hosan fourth hand tool. If you're familiar with the fourth hand tool, it's uh, basically for um, you know for pulling cables through uh, to tighten them down uh, on setting brakes and uh, derailers and things like that. So, yeah, so it's basically the same tool with a couple of modifications. All right, so what we need to do is we need to fix this handle in place so that it doesn't pivot. And then we need to cut this end off and move the spring over, and then we'll we'll essentially have the same tool. So, here we go. All right, so here we have the finished product. It's uh, really the only difference between this one and this one is that uh, this one has the handle shortened and curled up like that, but uh, I don't think that's really going to make any difference. But as I showed before, this one is pretty much worn out. It's worn so much that it will actually lose contact there. And this one has a nice nice square surface there so I still will use this one for uh, 
you know, uh, 14 gauge spokes. Works fine for that. Just uh, anything thinner, it just, just won't grip it anymore. So Anyway, that's how to make a an anti-wind-up spoke holding tool from a Hosan fourth hand tool. Hope you found that useful. Bye for now.